Welcome learners in this series of videos on topology. We are looking at the compact spaces. In fact, in the last video, we have proved that the closed interval A, B in R with usual topology is compact. Okay. So I said in the last video, let us prove that every cofinite topology is compact. This may be a very short video. Let us, let us prove that. Uh, as an example, let us take this as example. Every cofinite topology co finite topology every cofinite topology is compact so when we take a open cover let us uh, uh, let us make sure that that open cover we are taking in cofinite topology right let us prove this every cofinite topology is compact proof so first let us take a cofinite topology so let if it is empty then we have nothing to prove right so let x be a non empty subset let x be a non empty non empty set with cofinite topology cofinite topology means the complement the sets which are open are nothing nothing but the complements whose complements are finite cofinite topology and we need to show that this set x is compact and to show that this is compact let us take a open cover so let let u alpha alpha belongs to i i is the indexing set b an open cover for x b an open cover open cover for x we need to show that it has a finite subcover okay now to show that this has finite subcover let us take one element from this okay so let let us take one element that open set say u alpha not one of the element so let u alpha not belonging to this collection say u alpha alpha belongs to i Okay, let us take this one element. Now, remember when we say this is the open core for X, this implies X will be contained inside the union of all these U alphas. Okay, I am not writing that. That will be in our back of mind. Alright, so U alpha belongs to this implies U alpha will be open. U alpha naught is open in X. And X is with cofinite topology. This implies when you take the complement of this, it should be open. This should be finite. So complement of u alpha naught is finite. Okay. So uh, since it is finite, let us take some elements, finite elements. So say x difference u alpha naught is equal to let us take some elements. Say x1 comma x2 comma let us take some elements say n xn so what we have is we have a space x will be finite infinite set of course if it is finite set then we have nothing to prove okay so we have this x we have the cover for x that is u alpha we have taken one element from u alpha that cover open cover say u alpha naught since u alpha naught is open in x its complement is finite and we have taken the element in that x union so x difference u alpha naught that is complement of u alpha naught as x1 x2 up to xn okay so now now let us since these elements are there and since also since we have a open cover since x is contained inside union alpha belongs to i so u alpha and this xi belonging belongs to x for i equals to 1 to f and these xi are coming from x right so this xi belongs to x which is nothing but union alpha belongs to i u alpha this implies this implies there exists some alpha i belonging to i such that this xi will belongs to 
u alpha i that means uh, x1 will be in u alpha 1 x2 will be in u alpha 2 x3 will be in u alpha 3 and so on okay so just to have a uh, imagine we have a uh, full topological space something like this this is our x okay and then we had u we had u alpha not this u alpha not whose complement is finite right so in u alpha not we have x1 x2 x3 xn in complement so this is u alpha not the complement is finite so this is a finite set which contains this now according to our uh, our analysis over here what we have is this u this x1 will be inside u alpha 1 this will be in u alpha 2 this will be in u alpha 3 like this we will have something like this okay so these elements these elements are covered by u alpha not and the rest of the elements which are finite that is x1 up to xn are covered by these other elements so when you take the union of all these things this union will cover x okay that is the basic idea okay so there is this alpha i such that xi belongs to u alpha i and hence we can say that this implies this x will be contained inside u alpha not union union i from 1 to n u alpha i right because the elements which are not covered by u alpha not are here okay so when you take the union this union will cover whole of x that is that is this x will be contained inside union i from let us take say 0 to n because this zero is included here say u alpha i and this is finite sub cover okay because we have started with the open cover that is u alpha u alpha alpha belongs to i and we got a finite sub cover for it and hence hence x is compact so no matter what set you are taking finite infinite set if we have a cofinite topology on that set x then that topology that set x under that topology will be a compact space okay so in the next video we will stop in this video here in the next video we will prove that every closed subset of a compact set is compact okay so till then stay tuned and be at home stay safe